Hi everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Total War Warhammer. So, let's continue where we left off. You can probably hear that my voice isn't the greatest right now. I've been a little bit sick after all the travel last week. It was a lot. It's a little bit better now, so... We'll see what we can do. I might have to talk a little bit less than I usually do. And maybe do some creative editing on the audio. And perhaps make the episode slightly shorter, but we're going to play some more. First of all, we got a skill point to spend. So my plan right now is to not work on the route marcher line. I picked it up purely for the campaign movement range bonus, but I'm not too interested in abilities from this line specifically. I'd rather go for aura bonuses and unit bonuses, which is something the intimidating presence line has. There are some pretty good ones in here. So that's what we're going to work on. We'll pick up the opener. The opener is plus five characters or a leadership effect. There we go. And we can check the events. I don't think we're interested in that. We finish the boss stand. That's the battle we won. We gain the rank. We already knew that. And we occupy the settlement. All right then. So our next goal was to pacify Black Krag. We could recruit a second army, which isn't a bad idea. We'll probably want one as soon as possible anyway. So I don't think we should get one. How expensive is that going to be? Not too bad. We got 8600 in our treasury at the moment. I think we can afford it. And our income is fairly decent right now. We're paying 1300 for army upkeep. Alright, let's have a look. Who do we want to recruit? What are these? Plus two leadership, but minus one obedience in the local province. That's not so good, maybe. Minus two enemy leadership. Enemy hero action success chance, plus five percent. I definitely don't want that. Minus two enemy leadership in the local region. Seems useful. We can't recruit the legendary lord. Alright, let's grab Jalg Wormherdat. <laughs> I'm not good at orc speak. Yep, alright, recruit. And we'll start recruiting some units. Let's see. We need to unlock some better units. Let's have a look at the Black Krag real quick. What do we need to get to unlock better units? We have to upgrade our main settlement first. Which is this one, right? I assume that's what it is. You need two more population. Okay, fair enough. We can't actually upgrade or build anything new right now. Let's start recruiting some units. Let's see. A few archers and some melee. We'll get Orc Boys and one Goblin Archer. As for our other guy... Actually, before we move, let's check Diplomacy. We might have some decent relations with some people. Uh, hold on, that's the wrong screen. Down here. Diplomacy. Alright. We could try to get some non-aggression pacts with some people at least. Consider your situation Krokmon. carefully. Let's sort by attitude. These guys, they are friendly. Okay. Let's see what we can do then. We should at least get some non-aggression pacts, I think. Because obviously we can't fight everyone at the same time. And we don't want to. We already got non-aggression pact with these guys. Oh no, I just didn't click them yet. Uh, no, yeah, we do have the aggression pact with these guys. Alright. Anyone else? We can talk with? No, I don't want to end my treaty. How do we get back to that screen? There we go. I might be a little bit slower, because, you know, I've not been feeling very well. But I don't want to put the whole channel on hold for, like, a week. Or whatever. I hope it's not going to take a week. 
Hopefully I'll feel better in a day or two. But we'll see how that goes. Anyway. Tell me to listen. So talk. Moderate chance of success still. Nope, they rejected. Alright. That's fine. And these guys. Our main target are the dwarves. So if we can get non-aggression pacts with all our other neighbors, we could then focus on the dwarves. That seems like a decent enough plan. Alright. What else can we do? Recruit some units for our main army. And we can also... No, we... We should wait to replenish. But let's recruit some units first. I think we could use more melee. We got three spearmen right now. Spearmen aren't exactly amazing. They are expendable troops. It even says it right here. Expendable on the left side. How many melee dudes do we have? Not that many. I think we should get some more decent melee. So that means Orc Boys. That's the only melee guy we can recruit at the moment. Oh yeah, we'll have to wait, right. That's okay. That's because this is the same region we're already recruiting units in. Military access. For who? Crocked mod. I think I can accept that. And they are offering 200. Yeah, I think that's acceptable. We should stay friendly with some of our neighbors, at least. Which faction is that exactly? Let's have a look. Yeah, these guys. Can we just attack that settlement right away? I don't see why not. We are getting plus 3 obedience in Black Krag. Our objective right now is to pacify Black Krag, which means maintaining at least 10 obedience. That's one of the reasons I recruited this army, because that will affect obedience. You can check all the modifiers, right? Yep, like this. We are getting plus 5 from military presence. And meanwhile, we can go explore the area and attack some dwarves with our main army while our secondary army maintains or increases obedience in Black Krag. Such an action oh yeah, right, we have to declare war first. War. I think we should! As glorious as that is, proceed only if you it's not like we're going to be friendly with dwarves, and they are our main target. There are two different dwarf factions here, though. Or are there? Yeah, there are. And we are already at war with the other one. And there are some to the east as well. I think we should go this way, actually. I don't know if they are going to attack us from the north. Let's reveal some. Yeah, there is an army over here. Okay, let's see if he's going to move towards us. I'm curious. I don't want to be too aggressive just yet. Is that all we can do? I think that's all we can do. How's the growth? We'll get plus on population on the next turn. Alright, good enough. Confederation. Yeah, I mean, that's to be expected. These are the two dwarf factions in the area. It makes sense that they will be friendly with each other. So... Surplus population in Death Pass. Or in Black Krag in this case. Death Pass in the, is the province. We still... Yeah, we can upgrade. What's this? Greenskin Hideout. This will give us more income, more growth. Extra construction slot. Yep, we'll definitely grab that. It will give us an extra construction slot in Arondrock. 
We can't upgrade anything in Black Crack just yet. Alright, looks good. And let's explore some more. Doesn't look like that army actually moved towards us. Well, let's attack the settlement in that case. This looks easy enough. I think we'll do the battle manually. Looks like a fairly easy one. But I will likely do most of the battles early on manually, even the fairly easy ones. Because I want to get used to the unit types. Total War Warhammer is quite different from other Warhammer games. But eventually I'll start auto-resolving the really easy battles at least. Are we there yet? Alright, so first of all grab all our melee guys. And we can position ourselves up here, that seems reasonable. Just checking the area. Alright, looks good. Grab the goblins. The catapult can stay up here. That seems fine. Cavalry and archers up here on the left side, perhaps. Alright, let's move. Enemy reinforcements approaching, right. There is that army on the left side, so we should probably take care of that first. That sounds like a good idea. Let's pause for a moment and give some orders. There's no need to rush all that much. What are these guys? Warriors, warriors, thunderers. That's missile infantry. Let's target the dwarf warriors with our catapult. And we can send the goblins. The goblins are expendable, we can just throw them at whatever we want. Use them as kind of a fire and forget kind of unit? Probably, yeah. And reposition our melee guys. And reposition our cavalry as well. Okay. Looks good. We should win this just fine. There aren't a lot of units guarding the actual settlement. It's mostly the army that was close to the city that's reinforcing it. That's pretty much it. I think we can beat them. I hope so. I think we should also charge them. Otherwise we'll take quite a lot of damage from their rage. So, how do we want to use the cavalry then? We could try to charge some of these ranged guys with our cavalry. That sounds like a good plan. These goblins are not very fast, are they? No, not really. We could also target the ranged guys with our catapult. Because we'll engage all the warriors anyway. So it makes sense. No, our lord is not under attack. He's fine. I will be pausing a lot because I just don't want to play this like an RTS. And there's no real reason to do that when you can pause. It might not be as fast as it otherwise would have been, but whatever. I don't really care. Alright, let's charge these guys with cavalry and we can attack from the back. That sounds like a pretty good plan to me. And we'll have to help our other guy. Once we route the warriors on the left, we can charge the warriors on the right. Where are the goblins? They really need to move a little bit faster here. We can make them run. They are probably a little bit too far away for that. We could also charge in with the lord. I'm not quite sure just how strong he is in combat. I think he will be fine. Hey you, are you going to be fine? 
Yes, I'm talking to you. Don't pretend you can't hear me. Well, I guess he will be fine. We can try to charge. I'm not sure if I'm too excited about that idea. But he has some support. He should be okay. We do have some units coming from the right side, but that shouldn't be a problem. Okay. I think we'll have to pull back with the boar boys. And maybe charge again. They are taking more damage than I thought they will. In fact, we can charge these warriors on the back. That sounds like a pretty good plan. And grab our unit right here. I think these warriors took enough damage. Dwarf melee units are pretty damn tough, as you might expect. In fact, the dwarf faction has the lowest starting difficulty. I think the other three factions have normal. As in, the actual difficulty of the faction, not the difficulty you can set yourself. And the dwarves are marked as easy. We should be fine here. We pretty much got them surrounded. Just need to watch these other guys. We can send our goblins to attack them. That seems like a decent enough plan. Yeah, sure. And shoot them with the catapult. Because why not? The catapult is so good. These guys are very tired and wavering. I think we should attack them. But around the other Thunderers first. Come on. They are almost dead, in fact. Come on, kill them. Finish them off. They will be fine. Orcs do not tire. Well, actually they do. Okay, let's attack the other Thunderers. There's still one unit in the back, the Grudge Thrower. Should probably take care of that. Alright, let's just pause for a moment. As I said, I don't really want to play this like an RTS. That's Grimgore right here. Where do we want to send him? Finish off the warriors if possible. And we can attack from the side. How's that catapult doing? What's the biggest priority? That grudge thrower is probably a bigger priority than anything else right now. For a catapult at least. Alright, they are fleeing. So now we can use maximum speed and kill some of them at least. Or try. The more we kill, the better. Yeah, we probably won't kill a whole lot. It wasn't a terrible battle. We could have done better. How much did we lose? 243. Could have been worse. And the settlement is ours. That is a different region, I think. So, loot and occupy. I don't think we're desperate for gold right now. Let's just occupy it. Enchanted item gained. Passive ability, what does that do? What? Seriously? That's a cursed item? No, affects enemies in rage. Yeah, I thought for a moment that these are the effects that you get. <laughs> that would be kind of bad. Minus 4% armor piercing damage and minus 6% weapon damage. That seems pretty good. Alright. That's not bad at all. And now we should probably replenish a bit. We did get a skill point, so let's use that. What do we want first? Plus 3% weapon strength for melee infantry units. Plus 3% ammunition for missile infantry. Melee attack for goblins, night goblins, orc boys and savage orc units. And leadership during subterranean battles. I think we'll go for weapon strength for melee infantry. Sounds good. Alright. 
And we should probably pick up a few more infantry units. We'll have to wait two turns. Alright, that's fine. But we can recruit more in this region. Like so. The Golden Archers... Well... Hold on, what's the difference in stats between these two? It is quite significant. But the Orc Arrier Boys are quite a bit more expensive. They are decent in melee, which is good. But they have poor accuracy, which doesn't make them very good ranged units. I think I prefer some Goblin Archers. Alright, sounds good. What else can we do? How's our obedience in Black Krag? It's actually falling. Okay. Wait, we're not getting military presence anymore? Oh yeah, that's because we're recruiting, so... You had to change the stance. I assume that's what happened. Alright, that's fine. I think that's pretty much it on this turn. Border Princess, okay. I don't think we care about them right now. They are a bit too far away. These guys. Do they like us? Probably not. They are indifferent. Aversion, minus 40. I mean, that's not exactly surprising, I suppose. It's not like we're going to like each other when we're green skins. Alright, next turn. I don't think I want to push too hard into dwarf territory just yet. Okay, Diplomacy. Defensive Alliance. With who? With Crooked Moon. I think we should accept that. They are right next to us. They are reasonably strong. Well, they kind of aren't, but... Oh, they are unreliable. He is not to be trusted. Okay. Yeah, actually, I think we should decline that. Their strength rank is raw, and they are unreliable. I think I'd rather get a defensive alliance with a stronger faction if possible. So, recruitment is done. I think that's going to be enough recruitment for now. Back into Black Krag, and that should increase obedience now. Yep. Anyway, I'm going to make a cut here. I need to make this episode slightly shorter, because recording this in my current condition isn't exactly super easy. But I hope you enjoyed it anyway. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.